Oh man, welcome to a misty morning in the Shenandoah Valley. This is episode of building a guitar with Showalter guitars. I'm building an Osage Orange and Walt, nope, Osage Orange and Sycamore OM. And uh, it's been an amazing adventure so far. If this, if you're new here, make sure you're subscribed. I'm Jeremy, I'm the guitar hunter. This is Showalter Guitars, unbelievable guitar builders in the Shenandoah Valley. Today is neck day, let's do it. There's a chance that this episode is actually number nine. I've lost track, so we'll figure it out. How are you guys? <laughs> Doing uh -oh. great, how are you? Oh boy, went to slow shutter speed, so everything got very like washy. Oh. <laughs> so, anyway, Joyce, you finished yeah. your, your guitar. I did. Cool. It's people. in the showroom. So here it is. Um, I'm really, really pleased with how it turned out. And this back is just gorgeous. Oh, and you just gotta see that spalting. I mean, that is just unreal. And you, is that a pickup? Oh, yes, yes, uh-huh. Did you, you did a K&K? &K? Yeah, K&K. &K. And Steve really helped me. <laughs> I would say he, he kind of headed that up and, but it was really cool to watch. and. And it sounds great. The pickup is great. And this headstock. Oh, play. I know. It just shines. And then the neck turned out beautifully. There's a lot of nice contrast here. And I've gotten a lot of compliments on this so far, Steve. I like that it's not, um, it's very bright and balanced, but it's not super loud. How cool. How cool is it too that this is like the first one you've built? Yeah. You want to see how it sounds? Oh yeah. I'm, I'm so excited for how it turned out. I'm so shocked at how it turned out. <laughs> the walnut, at least in my normal experience, is very bright. Yeah. And then this is very mellow. Right. And so it's it's a good flip because normally you do a really bright top sure. with dark back and sides. Yeah. But it's just, it sounds great. me very I very much want to finish mine. Absolutely. <laughs> it's 300 right now we got to get it down to 250. I better do that one too then. Yeah. Yeah, you want to close that one?
got to cut the slot, and we'll come back and ready you. Okay. Okay. Okay, right side Oops, sorry. I have a little bitty blade under here. Uh, it only comes about halfway through the board for the slot uh, for the frets. And I have these two. Uh, this one on top is a uh, pattern that it would actually work as a fretboard itself, but I, I keep this in for a pattern and just so I can start with uh, a smooth blank. Mm -hmm. And then uh, so I, I slide it in here and get it lined up with this little, you have a little metal. Yeah, it'll come up out of the way or down in there. And then make sure to hold it good and snug and then I push it right through that blade. This sled kind of keeps everything good and square and slideable. All right. Yeah. I have a kitty that loves this this uh, saw. I don't know what about it. As soon as I turn it on, there she starts coming over here every time. <laughs> You are crazy. <laughs> I changed my way of doing it. I got to line it up so I don't have to have any pressure either way. Okay. And yeah, if it lines up, then I can push it straight down. Then all I want to do is just hold it straight. So I think that's going to work better than what I had done before. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I never disliked cats until one cat that my in-laws had. It was just like, he'd be super sweet and you'd pet him and you'd hold him and then out of nowhere he would just fire off Go and into bite you. you. So we well, did that three or four times and I mean that's ten years ago. Yeah, we had, still, we had one that was like that. Well, how did I miss that one? <laughs> well, well, well. All right. So I, I get it out and I check it mm -hmm. to see how close it comes to the duplication right. that I'm looking for here. <laughs> and uh, that worked. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah. Now, you ready to do yours? Oh, uh, okay. yes. I was wondering. <laughs> okay, so then make sure hold both of these boards back tight against the okay. fence there. And, and you push. Yeah. And then lift it up before I pull the yes. slide back. Right here's the start button.
but at the 16th fret, because it's so high above the body, they just do like a violin or a banjo neck on it. So basically like, they don't do any frets and they just level off. What or why would you want to uh, come down? Would it just seems like you just go continue straight out. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So it looks like they, maybe they didn't do it. Well, car. that's not even 14. I mean, it's not 16. Yeah, yeah that's, that's four, only 13. Th no, it's 15. 15. So we did one more. I don't know. Mm. I just think it's cool. Okay. Uh, it don't look like they did anything except just went straight. Yeah. Right on out. I think some of them, maybe, okay. I thought... When this guitar first came out, I thought it was so cool. Yeah, so that's just flat. Okay. Well, then we'll leave it the way it is. So it gives us an opportunity if we wanted to do, which I don't know. An inlay or something. Yeah. Is it a coffee? Yeah. Okay. Take a look. Yeah, these, they're really not that far. Let me see if I did mine. This, I think mine was pretty good, except that one I hadn't, that I had missed. I just wanna make sure it's in, yeah, it's pretty good. I wish I had a, a better way of doing this. This is, again, the, uh, not the friend of a inexperienced person. I do it, and I get it pretty good, but it's all hand work. Mm. Uh, so I'm gonna do mine first, and you can see how I do it. <laughs> all right. Good to there. Now it starts to get thicker. So I need to hold it down more on their head. So wait a minute. Right here it's thin yet. So I did notice this board is not perfect for the press. Okay. Uh, so I gotta take the twist out of it. I just go ahead and, and make it crooked, then I have to straighten it back out when I put it. But uh, so right in here, I got down, try to hold this up a little. So if you look at this, you can see I sanded. Can you see in the light how yeah. I sanded it in about here? Yeah. And uh, I want to go into center. So I got to go like that. a little bit more. But you see how I'm holding it up? Just like. I've got my finger in here. And I'm keeping this keeping this edge up so I don't dig in here. Yeah. Okay. Sixteen inch right here. Right. Let's see. How much more I need to do uh get down. Yeah, okay. always because you don't want to have a gouging in 
inside of it. And you don't want to take anything off at all in the middle. Yeah. And for the most part, keep it pretty steady in one position. It doesn't take uh, a lot to change it later, but keep this angle about like this. So there is the end of day eight or nine. I've lost yeah. track. I'll have to, <laughs> they'll know what episode it is. We don't know what it is right <laughs> now. But uh, so we finished the fingerboard. Well, the fingerboard is not finished. We um, cut, edge joined, sanded, fret slotted, and then uh, we're starting to do the rough end of the radius and then we'll follow in with a block to radius it. A lot of work. Now, one of the things we decided to do on the fly Years ago, there was a Santa Cruz and Otis Taylor model that I thought had one of the coolest design features I've ever seen. I have not seen it on another guitar and I've always liked it and kind of had it in my back pocket. If I ever build a guitar, it's a thing I wanted to do. So on his, what did we figure out? It's the 14th, the 15th fret maybe? 15th is what they did. The 15th, we did the 16th. So basically at the 16th fret or 15th fret, it dives off, it doesn't even dive off. I've always thought it did, but they just don't do any frets there and it leaves you this little design area that you could do an inlay. So, I don't know. We're continuing to figure things out as we go. But when we were in there, I realized, oh man, could we do it? Because I would love to do a little something here that's just different and unique. And uh, that's the coolest thing about getting to build your own guitar. So, um, this, uh, today was using tools that scare me. You know, table saws freak me out, belt sanders. Ever since, I still have a bruise on my finger from a couple episodes ago. But, um, this has been an amazing experience. Check out Showalter Guitars. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these building episodes. We're, it's, it's looking like a box. It's looking like a guitar. And uh, so, after this, we'll do the neck, fretboard, frets, headstock overlay, and uh, all those other things. So, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.